about Whitaker versus Adesanya. An incredible fight, second round KO for those of you uh, who are not up to date. And if you know you're tuning in here, you're tuning at your own risk. There's always spoiler spoiler alerts, okay? make the I'm going to give you an, an eternal spoiler alert when you tune into my channel. Um, I'm always talking about the fights. So uh, incredible performance by Dacenia. A very close round in round one until the very end where Dacenia scores a major knockdown. And the whole night, it was the Matrix, you know? Dacenia, like, a, like I uh, thought he would do, you know, he's leaning back. So we talked about uh, the pre-fight analysis. I was telling you guys, I think he's going to try to use the matrix. You know, what I mean by the matrix is when you're when you're leaning back like this, you know, like you're dodging punches like Neo does in the matrix. You kind of lean back. And, and he, he does it in uh, glory, you know, but not as much. In MMA, I find he's doing it so much more. And why? It's probably because the cage is much bigger than the ring, you know, and uh, the gloves are smaller, so he might may want to have more distance. And he's making it work, man. He's making it work in MMA. It's working really well for him. And as we saw in the second round, uh, uh, Whitaker was reaching. He was swinging for the fences. He was going for the kill. And um, at one point, he, he might have overreached a little, and he got countered. However, I did think he was doing really well in round one until the knockdown. And I thought in round two... If he kept that pressure up, we all expected him to come with pressure. Everybody was expecting Whitaker to come with pressure. In hindsight, I don't think it was wrong. Like if I went back, uh, you know, in time, I, I would still think it's the right choice. You have to pressure Adesanya because he's gonna he's gonna pick you apart from afar. Okay, so I don't think it was a wrong uh, strategy. It just that's how the cookie crumbled. Of course, there are different strategies you could have applied. You know, you can maybe try to kick the leg early in the fight instead of trying to hunt for the head so much. Um, however, you know, he did he did look good. Whitaker was looking good, in my opinion. He looked like he could have also landed a big shot. He could have also done some serious damage. He did connect on Adesanya. He even connected with a very nice head kick in round number two, uh, which surprised me because Adesanya was leaning so far back. It's kind of hard to head kick a guy when he's doing that matrix maneuver. And, of course, he has to be really tall. Generally, it's hard to head kick a tall guy. Not only is Adesanya tall, he's also doing the matrix, which makes him very hard to uh, kick to the head. Whitaker got it done. He kicked him right in the head. And, uh, you know, we saw some sparks of, you know, where Whitaker could put put the, the final touches on Adesanya and win. However, it didn't roll that way. As um, we saw in the final combination, uh, Adesanya has a lot of power as well. He has a lot of power. And not only is he powerful, that shot that he hit Whitaker with, the last one, the hook, I don't think Whitaker saw it. And it's much more damaging. For those of you who've done boxing before or kickboxing, you know when you get hit with a shot you didn't see, it's far more damaging. If you don't get a chance to brace for it, it's very likely to drop you. Now, just a quick little note before I open it up to you guys' comments and questions. The KO and excuse me, the knockdown in round one. Um, what amazed me was, I thought I thought it was the end of the fight. I wasn't when I watched it. I thought they stopped the fight. No, it was the buzzer. It was kind of hard to hear the buzzer because all the the crowd cheered, started started the um, making noise. So I didn't really hear the buzzer. You know, when I saw the knockdown, the crowd was cheering. I didn't hear the buzzer really. I I'm, I wasn't sure. And I thought the ref had stopped the fight. But when you're there live, you hear the buzzer. Like the referee is hearing the buzzer, the the horn. My my opinion, when somebody gets knocked down and the end of the round, they should get an eight count. The round is over. The guy got knocked down. Don't sit him up on the stool and give him a whole minute to recover. Don't do that. He has to be able to stand up on his own, and within eight seconds, not only is he standing up on his, own, on his own, he knows where he is, he knows the building he's in, he knows the date, he knows his name, his wits are about him, then let him keep fighting. However, if at, after a 10 count, or an 8 count, I should say, he still doesn't know where he is, the fight is over. Why? Because after you take such a blow to the head, you shouldn't keep fighting. It's too dangerous, I think, personally, health-wise. In boxing, most boxing uh, fights, you cannot be saved by the bell. If you get knocked down and the bell rings, you still have to make that eight count. Why? It's a, it's a safety measure. It's a serious safety measure. Because if you get your, if you get a severe concussion and the round one ends and we give you a whole minute to recover, you still have that severe concussion. Now, 
you're able to keep fighting because we give you a whole minute. But generally speaking, if you cannot recover from a blow to the head in 10 seconds, the blow is too severe. The blow is way too severe. Now, Whitaker did get up. He did kind of go straight to his um, his stool. So he didn't look that bad. But I just thought that, you know, I would have loved if they checked him, if they saw, you know, is it, are his eyes clear? Does he know where he is? Does he understand what's going on? That's something that, uh, that you have to have a, a, a one-on-one interaction with. You have to go and, you know, they, what they usually do is they make you put your hands up, walk towards me, and you have to be able to do it without stumbling about. And this is something I find that's a, it's a bit of a flaw in the rules of MMA. Because in boxing, they've learned that putting a guy on the stool and then sending him back out with a bad concussion is very dangerous for his health. And uh, most boxing fights, you cannot be saved by the bell. So that's one thing. When I saw that KO, I'm like, you know what? That happens quite a bit in MMA. Like it happened with Aldo and Mendez. You got to check those fighters. Once they get knocked down, you got to check them. They should be able to recover in 10 seconds. If they recover in 10 seconds, the blow wasn't that bad. The, the knockdown was not that bad. But in Whitaker's case, we'll never know because um, the rules weren't there. Okay, guys, that was my uh, rundown of the fight. Not much to break down. Brilliant, brilliant fight by both guys. I thought both their strategies were really good, except Adesanya was sharper. His counterattacks were uh, were not... Um, um, I mean, Whitaker wasn't able to get past his counterattacks. We saw that in round one. We saw it early, quite early in round two. Um, I think Whitaker needs to make some adjustments to his, to his uh, game plan in the next round. Um, but however, I did think he gave a great, great effort.